Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day. I'm Christopher Furless, Senior Principal Architect over here at Pragmatic Works. And today uh, we're going to talk about the Azure Data Box Heavy. Um, so you may have seen my, my previous blog on uh, Azure Data Box and, and the Azure Data Box Disk, right? And so those are for your um, smaller workloads, up to 80 terabytes. Um, and, you know, they're, they're a great option for quickly getting your data up into Azure, right? Uh, instead of having to move it over the wire, you can send a box and, and bring it up, right? Well, the Data Box Disk is, is uh, I'm sorry, the Data Box Heavy is roughly the same except you can use much larger amounts of data with up to a petabyte of space right so the process is the same as it is for the disk right you order the box uh you know you get it through the azure portal you specify the region that you're gonna uh you're gonna use you receive it you connect it into your network you set up network shares uh you know and then you copy your data over uh, you know, it's got pretty ha uh, fast performance up to, up to 40 gigabits per second transfer rates. Um, and then you return the box back to Microsoft and they will load the data directly into your Azure tenant. And from there, they will securely erase the disks as per the National Institute of Standards and Technology guidelines, right? So NIST guidelines on how to erase the data. So the data box heavy is ideally suited uh, to transfer data sizes larger than 500 terabytes uh, in size, right? And so when you think about uh, up to 80 terabytes on a data box, uh, you, you know, you, you'd, you'd have five or six of those uh, in, in, in place of the heavy. Um, you know, uh, when you get those larger um, data sizes, you know, it just makes it more sense to have it on one machine. Um, so basically the data movement can be like a one-time thing or a periodic thing, right? So uh, if you want to do like an initial data uh, bulk data load, uh, you know, you can, you can move that over and then follow that up with periodic transfers. Um, you know, and, and some of those scenarios would be like when you, you have a huge amount of data on-prem and you want to move it up into Azure, right? So if you're moving a media library of, of offline tapes into Azure for, you know, uh, some kind of an online media library, right, for tape backups or something like that. Or maybe uh, you're migrating an entire cabinet, you know, and you've got a ton of data in there with your virtual machine farm and your, your SQL server and your applications over to Azure, right? So you move that over into your tenant, uh, you migrate your virtual machines, and then you can uh, do a, an incremental restore of data from there, right? Um, some other things is, is moving historical data, right, to Azure for doing deeper analysis using Databricks or HD Insight or one of the other tools. And then, you know, you might have a scenario where uh, you want to do the initial bulk load, right? So uh, you have a massive amount of data, you want to push it up, uh, and then from there you want to do incremental loads of, of additional data as it gets generated across the wire, right? So another good use case. Um, and then uh, the last one that comes to mind is, is you've got these organizations that, uh, you know, they could be doing IoT uh, and using video data with a drone, right? So inspecting uh, 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 rail lines or power uh, lines or something like that, right? And they're just capturing massive amounts of data uh, and they want to be able to basically move that up in chunks, right? And so video files can be huge, graphic files can be huge. Um, and if you want to send them in batches, right, this would be a great solution for something like that uh, to be able to kind of uh, more quickly move them up rather than having to move the files individually or uh, over the wire, right? So it's, it's a pretty cool technology and, and it's a great solution for moving data up uh, in a more efficient manner if you've got these massive amounts of data, you know, petabyte scale. So uh, it's, it's a pretty cool tech and, and we hope you check it out. Uh, if you've got any questions about Azure Data Box, Data Box Disk Heavy, um, Azure, Azure Data Platform, um, ask us. You know, we're here to help out. Uh, we've done a lot of great stuff within the Azure Data Platform and, and uh, really have some great options there. So uh, feel free to uh, click the link below or, uh, or shoot us a, a message and, and ask away. Uh, otherwise, thanks a lot for listening and have a great day.